Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nubraid. Today we're going to be pulling a bunch of primal shards. Can we get a mythical? That's the big question. Also, I have just completed the Skeletor chase. Um, I, I had initially hoped to be online at like midnight to pull and to test him. That has been delayed. I'll try to get to that later in the week. Uh, the reason is, is very simple. We've got 41, by the way. I think if there's any offers, I'm going to see if I can, if I can buy. Yes, okay, there is an offer. Let's see if I can buy, buy some. Where, where was it? Wait. Oh, I thought I saw one for myth. Well, maybe I'm crazy. What? Wait, it's here. Okay, I'm going to get this one for 40 for nine. God, it's a terrible deal, but just for the sake of, uh, just for the sake of having it, um, so expensive, but. You know, pull 50 for the video. That's fun. Let's do that. Ah, oh, there it is. We've done it. We've done it. There we go. Oh, oh it's a bit of a treat yourself moment as well. Uh, you guys might see in some of the videos I recorded and in the next few weeks, like this tooth here is looking like different. It's really white. This is like a temporary tooth at the moment. Um, I had like, it was actually, unfortunately, went away on the Japan holiday. I was having this terrible pain. And before I went away to Japan, I thought this is so exciting. I'd had uh, my ears been a bit blocked before that, which I get every now and then. My ears get blocked. I thought, oh my God, is this something to do with the ears? Has like getting them cleaned, has that gone wrong? Is there an ear infection or something? I went to the doctor. He couldn't find anything wrong. Gave me some painkillers. Like, okay, cool, great, whatever. Went on holiday in Japan and pain was like, there was still pain still there. I was like, shit. I went to the dentist over there. I was like, this could be a tooth pain. Because like sometimes, you know, a tooth pain, it can go up into your eye and your ear, which is where it was. And the dentist there was like, yeah, you didn't speak any English, but it was like, yeah, you're, there's something wrong with your tooth. You have to go to your dentist when you get home. So I was like, okay. Went to the dentist when I was at home and they said, oh yeah, there's, there's like a pretty bad infection now in your tooth. You have to pull the tooth. So tooth is gone. Not this one. The one behind it is gone. And then because I've got Crohn's disease, they're like, yeah, we can't do an implant or anything. Like any surgery is like, we want to avoid that because you're on immunosuppressants. There's too much risk. So uh, I have to get, um, I'm getting like a bridge, which is like, basically th th they shave down the two seat teeth beside it and they put crowns on those. And then with like a fake tooth, like a crown basically in between to, to bridge the gap where your tooth is gone. So yeah. Pain in the ass. Very unpleasant <laughs> all experience altogether. Tooth extraction is horrible. My God. Horrible experience. Uh, hopefully never have to do that again. Hopefully. Touch wood. Um, that's where we're at. So yeah, if it's looking a bit funny, that's what's going on. And that's why I've not done a Skeletor video yet either. Been a, a little bit of a miserable weekend. Just just chilling and taking care of myself and all of that. Instant power. I actually don't have any legendary books for Skeletor, which is a bit of a problem have my daily gem pack going as well okay i actually just realized i need to make space for these we've got no space let me make some space and i'll be right back all right space is made we're back i've done the old trick of just shove everything in the reserve vault right we've got this bigger reserve vault now so for all this shard pulling stuff i'm just like shoving shoving rares into that thing so that there's space it means i'm pretty well set for champion trading stuff in the future i don't need to pull shards for it but let's see what can we do we have a 1% chance for mythicals, 82% for rare. Now, it's possible that they'll do a proper 2x, 2x mythical and 2x legendary for Christmas or something. But, uh, you know, let's, let's just go for it. Let's do it. Uh, you know, we're not about making the best decisions all the time here. We're about making decisions that, you know, are fun sometimes. So let's go. Let's do a 10 pull. 10 pull. Let's go. Rare. Rare, rare. It's kind of funny as well going into this because it's like obviously getting a crazy mythical would help a ton in like arena or something. But um, I, I chatted a bit about goal four arena. Let's go again. Chatted a bit about goal four live arena, and God, it is rough. But like even get even getting one OP mythical, it would be nice. But it doesn't make a huge difference. Like we're going up against people with all of the OP Void Legendaries and all of the OP Mythicals with six star blessings and empowered and everything. It's pretty rough. That being said, I would not say no. Would not say no to a new Mythical at the same time, Ray. Don't hear me saying that and be like, oh, well, you don't, you don't, it's not going to make a huge difference then we won't bother. Got Lockwain, Necro Hunter, no good. Going again. Two extra Mythical. Each shard is a one in 100 chance. 
Oh, a legendary? Oh, uh, Royal Huntsman. Okay, I think he's new, actually. I think he might be new. Oh, we got a legendary out of it. I mean, that's something. That We're getting a ton of points for this event as well. Old Gruckus is, is decent as well. Royal Huntsman, which one is he? 100% defense ignore. Is the AoE decrease defense? Increase attack on himself. Huh? You know, he maybe would use him for faction war stuff, actually. That could be all right. Cool. All right. I'll take I'm pretty sure he's new. How many shards do we have left? I'm actually double check. Yeah, he is new. That's a red dot right there. New legendary. Funny enough, with the high elves, I actually don't want the new. Well, I do want Fina. Actually, to be fair, Fina and Bellinor are both great. I would love both of those. I really want duplicates. <laughs> I really want dupes because missing that 10 speed from faction guardians and arbiter, again, that's pretty rough. <laughs> that feels pretty bad when you're going into speed races. Okay. Here we go. I want to I, I want to single pull the last. We've got 20 here. I want to go in the single pulls. I'm feeling the mythical. Pan. Okay. Pan's good. We definitely empower Pan. Pan's useful for, uh, for Faction Wars and for Curse City. I'm doing single pulls because I'm feeling that mythical coming. I'm feeling it. I feel it. I know he's coming. Okay. Ergator. Isn't he like a good damage dealing rare? Maybe he'd be good. I think there are some like rare only rooms in uh, Siege, right? When you've got the level three stronghold, you can set like rare only and epic only rooms, I think. Mystic Hand. So all of these rares, that's that's just the whole, it's the long con of the primal shards. The rares are actually great, guys. They're prepping you for those, for the, <laughs> those rooms in Siege. Make sure you've got the best rare team ready to go, right? Prime... All these rares and primals is actually great. Okay, we've got 13 left. Lucky number 13. Flannon, actually a good rare, to be fair. I have him already. Another rare. Okay, okay, okay. This is number 11. Shard 11. Epic. All right. Vildrax, former fusion, terrible fusion. Shard number 10. This would be the final of the shards I'd gathered myself. So there we go. Those are the, the shards I gathered myself. And this is, what is it, $40? $40? This is $40 right here. Written off with tax as well. <laughs> Bear that in mind, guys. Bear that in mind for the sake of the video. All right, here we go. Basically $5. Here we go, another five bucks. Here we go. Another five, another five dollar rare. Coffin Smasher. Great rare. Would I pay five dollars for him? Apparently I did. Apparently I did. Here we go. Here we are. Six remaining. Six shards remain. Oh, it lagged a bit. I thought that would say, oh, Masamoto. Okay, okay, okay. Five shards remaining. We've got a good number of epics. Our tournament points are going to be crazy for this chap chase. Gladiator. Four left. Where's the Galathir, boys? Oh, it's another epic. The epic rates have been solid. Three shards left. Three. <laughs> epic. Another. I just can't stop pulling epics. Two. Here we go. Rare. Oh, God. The final shard, everyone. The last shard. One in 100 chance. One in 100 chance. It's the rare. Boltsmith. Well, <laughs> that's the ball gone. All right, well, we're going back on the grind. I actually, today, it's the 1st of December today, actually. So that's, look at this. I, I, I timed this well. Look at this. 34 out of 35. We're, we're ready for another one. Um, but I might, I don't know. Maybe I'll pull it as soon as I get it, I guess. Maybe, maybe. Uh, 725 champs. Yeah, we've done that. Wow, we've shot up this tournament. Is this second place in summoning now? I mean, 50 primals is a ton. I've been saving and saving, and I bought... Oh, my God. That's all we got? Oh, we are not second place at all. Oh, my God. Okay. Whoa, 34,000, 32,000. I'm down here. Oh, my. I have 6,000. We didn't even get to this other legendary... Oh, that is that is shocking. What is that? We're, we're still 1,000 off. And that's getting, that's with the dude as well. Okay, well, we got the fragments. I mean, we got to go get this. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt. <laughs> I guess I do have those Broadmoor fusions. I guess it's worth. I guess it's worth for a legendary book. 
Uh, probably? Yeah, probably worth going for the legendary book, honestly. So, yeah, Broadmoor Fusions. Up to 45 stock fragments. Um, I mean, I'll get one more mythical shard, I guess, from Life Arena today. And, um, just presuming I win one of the 10 fights today. And, uh, yeah, then I guess I'll pull one more primal. And we hope it's a mythical, I suppose. But hey, listen, we got our, we got Royal Huntsman. He's new, so that's nice. I don't know if he's, uh, people rating him pretty well. I mean, he's a, he's an AOE decrease defense champ. It's okay. He needs to crit, but that's fine. Um, you know, he, he, he wouldn't place it on a weak hit anyway, and you build him 100% crit. That's okay. Wait, did I get something else new? Knight's Revenant. Wait, what? Oh, Skeletor. Oh, yeah, we got Skeletor. The rating... Oh, wow, the ratings for him are grim. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was hoping with Skeletor, I was like, I want to wait to see if he can place Petrification through Stone Skin, and maybe that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's definitely a bit rough. That's definitely a bit rough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor Skeletor. Poor Ske the, my main issue with Skeletor, I think he's like, okay. I I'm expecting him to be okay with bombs, and that would have been fine. But uh, I think he's so similar to Loki, and I think that really sucks, right? The last login champion is, is very much a similar sort of... Where's Loki? Very much a similar sort of thing. Accuracy aura, you know, increase attack for your team. Works really well with bombs as well, I think. So the fact that I feel like Loki and, and Skeletor are so similar. I think Loki's probably better overall as well, but they're so similar. It's kind of, why? Why? Why do we have two? Like, there's so many different types of champion in this game. Oh, there's another primal. That's that's a long way away. So many types of champion in this game. Why bring out two that are, like, almost the same? I don't know. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have uh, more mythical luck than I did with your primals. That's been, what, about six months or so, I think, of saving for primals, plus 40 bucks, and we got nothing. Uh, Royal Huntsman, I suppose. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.